Okay, welcome back to tutorial 8.0. We're going to be establishing that data source in uh, Visio. So, an important thing we must do before we do any, any data linking is these two files that we have developed through this tutorial. We need to be sure to have a backup of these so we can always go back to the baseline version we started with. So I'm going to copy these into my backup files folder that I created on the desktop here. Copy them in here. So I can always go back to these two files if something goes wrong. Okay? We don't need uh, Excel open right now. We're just going to work in Visio, so we'll launch that. And here is our diagram. Okay, we're just going to set up the links right now to the data sources. When I say data sources, think of each spreadsheet in our Excel workbook as a separate source. To do that, we just go to the Data menu, and we go to Link Data to Shapes. This is the first step in accomplishing this. So we uh, come up with this data selector, which of course is defaulted right now on Excel workbook. That's good for us. Next. Now it wants to know where the workbook is located, and when we want to import. So we browse. And we know where it is, it's on the desktop. And there is our workbook, autoinventory.xlsx. We open that. So we can see the path is good. Next. We want to choose uh, which worksheet. So let's just do it. Truck is first. You notice it has a dollar sign after it. That's fine. Next. Uh, columns and all data. That's just default. We take that. Next. That is important here. You can see that for uh, rows in my data that are uniquely identified by values in the following columns. It has selected VIN. I guess that's Visio's best guess. However, while that's a valid guess because a VIN would be unique for every vehicle, we really are working here with Shape ID to connect to our Visio. So let's scroll down to make sure nothing else is, nothing else is selected except Shape ID. Okay, we've got it. So we hit Next and we are finished. You can see a, uh, in the external data window, there is our spreadsheet looking very much like it does in Excel. The tab for truck and, and all the records. We're going to repeat this process to link the other spreadsheets. So we go back to data, link data to shapes, just like we did before to uh, link to the other spreadsheets. I'm not going to say everything I'm doing here, just you watch it choosing Camaro at this point. Default here. It has selected shape ID as our only unique field. And we're done. So we'll do that again to link up the oldies, uh, uh, oldie uh, spreadsheet. And then we'll be ready to uh, automatically link our data and records and uh, shape our data, data records to our shapes in Visio in the next tutorial.